10 Steps to the Right Way to Buy a Car. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, longtime car buyer's advocate known as the homework guy, and I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. In today's video, some of the content may sound similar to things we've said before, so why would we say it again? Well, unfortunately, most people don't really take the time to go back and take a look, or they incorrectly think that if something was published six months or more ago, that it might not be relevant now. So today we're hitting a 10 steps to the right way to buy a car. Not all of these will apply to every car buyer, so if that happens to be you, just skip over a point we make and move on to the next. That's right. Number one, if you're financing, take the time to carefully look over your budget in the comfort of home well before doing any car shopping. Look at your cash reserves and make sure you know how much cash down you'll have to work with. We recommend that you put down at least 20% and pay the tax title and license fees out of pocket too. If that's too much money for you based on the car you're considering, you're only telling yourself that you can't afford what you're thinking about buying. Yep. Keeping all of this in mind, make sure you know the amount of monthly payment that will work for you. And friends, that's pretty much the only time you're going to hear me talking about monthly payments. Number two is also about financing. If you're financing, be aware of the total amount of debt that you'll be adding to your current debt load and how long it will be before you're out from under it. Always focus on the whole price. Dealers love to focus on car payments and they love customers who readily engage in payment negotiations, but don't be that person who gets sucked into a conversation about payments while ignoring the total price of what you are paying for. That could be a very painful financial lesson to learn later. Number three, visit your own lender first. Many times we've said to talk to your own bank or credit union so you know what you qualify for. Don't be the buyer who waltzes into a car dealership and asks, what can I get approved for? Every car buyer who ever took that tactic with a car dealer has been bent over the barrel, sad to say. <laughs> well, number four, know your own credit score. There are several categories of credit. While there are still a few small hikes coming in interest rates, the recent interest rates as of June for the super prime credit category of 781 to 850 was 5.18% on new cars and 6.79% on used cars. The next step down prime credit level 661 to 780 scores were getting 6.4% on new and 8.75% on used. Non prime of 601 to 660 was getting 8.86% on new cars and 13.28% on used cars. That's starting to hurt already, but it gets worse. Subprime credit, which are scores between 501 and 600, were paying 11.53% on new cars and 18.55% on used cars. In the bottom credit category, deep subprime, with scores between 300 and 500, we're seeing rates of 14.08% on new cars and 21.32% interest on used cars. Ouch. It goes to show how important credit is. Now moving on to number five, determine what vehicle you want. Think about how you'll use it. Will you be hauling passengers or stuff? Do you intend to tow with it? Once you have an appropriate vehicle picked out, do some fair market shopping so you are familiar with current pricing. Don't ever pay more than you should, even if the payment proposal looks like something that could work for you. Number six, choose where to shop. Include dealers near you, of course, but don't forget about those outside your area too. Deciding where you want to do your shopping is more important than some of you realize. The good news is, is that it's not actually that hard to nail down. Number seven, negotiate your car deal. We recommend you do this from the comfort of home via email. Get it all in writing. We've had free email templates on our website for some time now for all of you to use, so don't forget to go get the pricing in writing before you sit down in a dealership. Number eight, financing the deal. Always remember the finance office in a dealership is not a friendly banker, but rather just another sales office and their employees of the dealer. Exactly. You'll be offered everything under the sun. If you haven't done so already, see this video Kevin produced titled 10 Products Do Not Buy From Car Dealers. It covers many of the things that we advised against buying from a car dealership. Things like paint and fabric protection, roof racks, key fob insurance, protection packages, and the always popular and often oversold gap insurance to name a few. The things you'll be presented in finance. Sound more like a fast food menu board than a meeting with a banker? Well, it should because that's exactly what it is. Make sure you see the video I just mentioned to hear much more about these things. Number nine, insuring your purchase. Car insurance is often an overlooked expense of owning a vehicle. Always check with your car insurance company or even have your policy requoted by other companies at the time of purchase. Always consider multiple options. Insurance companies get complacent and start boosting your rates unless you hold them accountable. Car insurance should always be a part of your affordability consideration. Number 10, completing the deal, signing that contract. Besides products I mentioned earlier, 
you must be on the lookout for dealer fees and finance. We have published a list of common fake dealer fees on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and one of our most popular videos ever published was called 11 Fake Fees. Make sure you see it before you end up sitting in a dealer finance office signing a car contract. If you have seen it before but are in the market now, I recommend you go back and see it again for a much needed refresher. And friends, that's our show for today. We hope you got great value out of this presentation of the 10 steps to the right way to buy a car. Also, a brief update on our hassle-free car buying process. We have been making faster progress identifying and recruiting good dealers to connect our viewers with, and we will start publishing those lists soon. I can tell you that it will only be easier to deal with these good dealers through our platform as we have rules for them to abide by. Good dealers are indeed hard to find and it requires a sorting and vetting process. We'll have a lot more on that soon. If you appreciated today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of new shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources that we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. You'll find a free car buyer's guide, a free email template to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees. We just recently added the spreadsheet that we did on total car dealer fees by state in the U.S. Find out how your state ranks on that. Yeah. And there's a download for combating forced add-ons and deceptive pricing. It's all there on thehomeworkguy.com free for you to download to use when car shopping. We are also excited to say that we will soon be launching an opportunity for memberships here on YouTube. This decision came after a recent consult with YouTube Insiders. The memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin. We both really enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that coming soon. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you just recently joined the Homework Guide channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.